Hello, hello everybody. I'm Ray Walker back again with my co-host Allie Laird. And this is another episode of Dear Denison. Uh, we hope you've been enjoying our episodes so far and we have more in store for you. Um, but this episode, we have something a little bit special. Ellie, um, let them know what we'll be talking about. So today we are going to be talking about traditions at Denison. So traditions? Every, yeah, traditions. So everything that takes place at Denison, it doesn't take place anywhere else. This special to Denison. And there are a lot of different traditions, um, but we're just going to talk about a few. There are so many. We can't get to all of them. <laughs> Um, right, Ellie? We can't get to all of them. No, no, we can't. But, but we're going we're gonna to pick the best. We'll, we'll try to highlight some of the special ones. Right, Ellie? Yep. Um, hmm, so where where should we start here? I think we should start with D-Day. Ooh, D-Day. So, Ellie, do they, you think they know what D-Day is? Um, I don't think so. I think that's why they're watching this, to uh, find out exactly what D-Day is. That's why we're here. <laughs> so, D-Day, um, I can tell them a little bit about D-Day. D-Day is essentially, it stands for Denison Day. And it's a day that the university has dedicated to the student body literally for, for fun and entertainment and a day that um, for decades has been where Denison brings an artist to campus and the artist performs and Denison students have the opportunity to just let go and be free. Um, if it's during the weekday, classes are canceled um, and this day is just dedicated to the student body being able to enjoy an artist coming to can- campus. Um, Ellie, have you ever been to a D-Day performance? I haven't been to wow. a D-Day performance. I didn't go my freshman year, and I guess one didn't take place this year. Or it was wow. virtual. Um, but, yeah, no, I would definitely love to go. Yeah, and last year we had um, Denzel Curry, um, a really famous rapper. And in the past we've had so many different other people, so many rappers. Um, but you have to come to Denny to find out. Um, more about the D-Day culture. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's right, Ray. (laughs) Yeah, no, that's D-Day for you. And so, Ellie, um, there's more traditions on the list. Um, What about about the involvement fair? The involvement fair. Okay, so let me tell you something about the involvement fair. I, this is the most American thing I've ever witnessed. Um, When I came to campus (laughs) as a freshman and the involvement fair was taking place, there was a table for cheerleading. There was a cappella group singing. I thought I'd been dropped in the middle of Pitch Perfect. (laughs) I was like, what is going on? Um, This is where all the organizations on campus, so Greek Life, um, every club you can think of that takes place at Denison will come to the involvement fair and they will have sign-up sheets and you can give your email and you'll be on the the, um, emailing list for that club. Um, for me, that's where I was first introduced to the burpees. The burpees had a table, the and burpees. I put my email in, and I got an email when the editions came out um, the semester after that. So the involvement fair is a really cool place where you can um, you can sort of suss out all the different clubs and the mm. ones that you want to join, it's a lot ask of them. questions. Yeah, there's so many. Um, but yeah, so that's involvement day. Yeah, and like there's multicultural organizations. Mm-hmm. There's like the sports clubs for intramurals. There's like fraternity and sorority life, like Ellie said. It'll blow your mind. Like, Denison has so many organizations. I forget the number, but, like, so many organizations on campus that you can get involved Mm in. Um, And so that's another tradition. This usually happens the second um, week um, of the the fall semester. Um, And so a lot of students come out, and it's usually in the evening. So Mm -hmm. it's a great time to get to know people and to sign up for clubs and organizations. So, Ellie, what's that thing? Um, They're, like, (laughs) for the freshmen. They're, like, you know, immersing in the campus and it's like they're in Algo, yeah and so president weinberg speaks to them and like their parents are there what's that thing called induction the induction <laughs> yes what's the induction ceremony the induction ceremony again is another experience where i was on campus as an international student and was like what is going on um we had to line <laughs> up at the bridge and we had to walk in on single file and like there were professors dressed in robes and they clap as you walk yeah. in and i was like I thought I was graduating. I didn't know what was happening. I was like, what is happening? We go down and we sit down and we listen to a speech from Weinberg. um, And I'm pretty sure a couple of people sang Denison's anthem um, to Denison. And um, that's... To Denison. (laughs) And then that's where we get our... um, our Tassel. Tassel for the hat. And it's for the cap, for the graduation cap. Yeah, for the graduation cap. You know, the mortar sports. And it's like, um, it's white and red. And it's got a, a beautiful little poem or something on it that says, you know, that you have to keep this throughout your time at Denison. To your whole time. And when you graduate, 
You use it. You have to keep that same tassel mm-hmm. from the time you get it at the induction ceremony to the time you actually graduate. And if you lose it, you get a black one. So you don't want a black one. You don't want to be that person. Mm-mm. You really don't. Ellie, I hope you're not that person. I'm not that Well, person. I graduate first, so hopefully I'm not that <laughs> I, Where is mine, actually? Wolf, wolf. That's, oh. a, that's a problem oh. for another time. Okay, so something else that happens when you're a freshman. You want to talk about it? It's a little party, a little, Ooh, little let's, event let's, that happens let's, in Slater. Let's, let's say that. You want to save that? Yeah, we can save that. Never mind that. No, we'll, we'll get it. We'll come around to that. Well, they'll just have to listen in. They have to keep listening. But the next thing I want to talk about is the Swayze. The Swayze seal. Seal. I the, didn't know we were doing Colin. <laughs> the Swayze seal and the Swayze seal has a very interesting dynamic to it. So. I don't know if you've ever been um, to campus, but if you have, you if you, if I'm sure you've been around Swayze. There's a seal right there. You do not step on the seal. Ellie, why don't you step on the seal? Because if you step on the seal, legend has it that you will not graduate. Legend has it. You will not graduate if you step on the seal. Um, and so you'll see floods of people coming by, and they will literally part like an ocean. Yes. No, the ocean's part. That's a really bad metaphor. No. They will part, and they will not walk on the seal. Yeah. Um, they will go right around mm-hmm. the seal, just like, you know, just like fish going around a shark. That's probably bad, that's, too. That's better but, than mine. But you do not step on it. And like Ellie said, you won't graduate. If you do, if you do step on if it. If you do step on it, legend has it. You but actually not legend has it, because I've seen this happen. You have to kiss the seal if mm-hmm. you step on it, because that will reverse the curse of you not being able to graduate. So the seal is one of the most, I have to say, one of the most notable traditions um, of just not stepping on the seal. Mm-hmm. That that has been a very interesting experience to be around the seal when someone steps on it, people joke around it. But that's another tradition for you. Um, another one, Ellie, what's a Big Red weekend? Big Red weekend is so much fun. Is There's lots of events around campus, mm-hmm. and it's when parents can come, and they can they can hang out with their kids, and they can, they see, can campus. see campus. It's see like the around. homecoming. Yeah. And so it's like the football game, right, Ellie? A lot of people mm-hmm. go to the football game. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of campus events going on. Alumni come back. Um, yeah, it's like the homecoming, and it's a really good, fun experience. It's like in the fall semester, right, Ellie? Yeah, fall. Yeah, so. I think it's like September. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? But, yeah, it's, it's in September, I think. So, um, Ellie, another tradition. What, what just happened last week? Oh, wait till you hear about this. Naked Week. Naked Week. Did you Naked hear that? Week. Naked Week is um, to promote body positivity. And it's where um, the people who choose to, they'll sign up and they run around campus. It's a different part of campus each day of the week. Yeah. Um, and my freshman year, I had no idea it was happening. <laughs> and I went to leave Smith. And I went to hold the door open. And the next thing, like seven naked people came running yeah. through Smith. Smith? I, what's Smith, though? I don't think they know what Smith, Smith is. Smith is the first year residence hall. Yeah, it's one of the first year residence halls. One of halls. the first year residence hall. Um, so, yeah, so that's like super fun. It's like super quirky, I guess, <laughs> uh, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, and so, like, this, this year they did it. And the title was like, Everything But the Mask. So mm-hmm. they had a mask on, but everything else was off and like we like Ellie said it's to promote body positivity and really help people be comfortable in their bodies um and people who come from so many different backgrounds who you know to be to be happy about yourself Mm -hmm. um no matter what you look like because everybody is beautiful that was a good one um but um oh I get it you get it now yeah very (laughs) Um, funny (laughs) the last the last thing we will tell you is about the thing Ellie was hinting at earlier and um that's the last tradition we'll give you. I don't want to spoil too many of them because you'll be cam- coming to campus soon. Ellie, the last one is the... S- sizzle. Sizzle. The sizzle. What's the sizzle? The sizzle is a first-year sort of, like, event thing that takes place in Slater. Um, my freshman year, I'm, there were there was, like, a casino on the Ooh, third floor. Yeah. Obviously not real gambling or real it's, money. Yeah. But it, it was so much fun. Um, and you could, like, save up. The more tickets you had, the more tickets you could put in to, like, for a lottery to, like, win a gift. And so there were, like, Denison merch. There was, like, there were lots of different presents that you could win using your tickets that you won in the, um, the games that you played. 
Um, and then there was lots of food, like a food. buffet. Yeah. And it's just purely for freshmen to get to know each just other. Just for freshmen. It's, it's like a big party for freshmen. Yeah. Like, I remember them having glow sticks everywhere. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They have, they have the silent disco. Silent disco. Yeah, they have the silent disco. Like, they, it's just so fun. Like, for, like, you don't even know these people for the most part. Like, you're just surrounded by a bunch of sweaty freshmen. <laughs> but it's so fun because, like, you're meeting all these new people and they, they create this atmosphere for you to just build relationships in a fun environment back to campus so that's the sizzle um those were just some of the traditions right ellie just some of them just some there's more but we're going to save those for when we see you on campus um stay tuned for our next episodes this was traditions yes dear denison <laughs> traditions well, dear edition dear denison <laughs> traditions episode edition um so we hope you will come back for more episodes we have some interviews coming up um so stay tuned for our next episodes right ellie yep stay tuned we will see you soon see you soon dear Bye. denison we're out